Hello my dear friends, I am Dr. Vaishnavi, your ENT educator on the prep ladder. Today I have come up with an interesting, uh, you know, riddle for all of you. So in this particular uh, thing, I will be giving you certain clues. With those clues, you're supposed to identify the disease. So they will come in a particular order and please note down at what clue number did you get your diagnosis right. So the first clue is, this is a disease that I'm talking about is caused by a gram negative bacteria and this gram negative bacteria is endemic in northern India. Clue number two, this disease is acquired via air droplets. So if somebody has an infection and they happen to sneeze or cough and that air droplet you happen to inhale, you can also get that infection. So I am hoping that at least a few of you would have been able to answer by now with the first two clues. If not, let's take the third clue. This bacteria, after entering your nose, wants to multiply and wants the environment in the nose favorable for its growth. And hence, it's going to destroy all the mucin producing cells in the nose, making the nose dry, filled with crust. And it is foul smelling crust that you have in the nose. Clue number four. Now the immune cells of your body are going to fight against this bacteria as a result of which in the next stage we have a central area of necrosis surrounded by inflammatory cells like neutrophils, macrophages, epithelioid cells and giant cells which we call it as a granuloma. I'm sure by now at least 50 to 60 percent of you got it right. But for those who haven't, let's go to clue number five. Now, once the immune cells have attacked the bacteria, destroyed it, there has to be healing and healing occurs by fibrosis. As a result, there is stenosis of the nasal. Clue number six, this infection is treated with medical therapy, rarely requires surgical therapy. And the last clue on histopathology, you will see Miculic cells and Russell bodies. Most most of you got it right by now. I'm talking about rhinoscleroma. Rhinoscleroma is a very important disease in the nose, and we've seen time and again many questions erupting from rhinoscleroma, which is why I told it like a story to you in this particular format. Let me know in the chat box at what clue number were you able to guess. So with this short video, you have learned most of the information on rhinoscleroma. For more such videos, please like and subscribe to our channel. Take care and bye-bye. Subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from PrepLadder.